What's up, what's going on my people? Big up on yourself and welcome back to the channel. If on the first time, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe for support and growth. Remember you now, the more you like the video, the more YouTube suggests it in this algorithm. Also, please do remember this as well. You're not liking the content because most time, if not all the time, nothing is in the content for your like. Like I say, it's just a way YouTube use to suggest it in this algorithm. Now with all of that said and all of that done, I'm going to jump into the intro and then I'm going to come back with the news and the details in. Lawmen and Indicom are currently probing the attempt invasion of Vitan police station in Westmoreland by two gunmen on Sunday night. The incident said to have happened about 11.40 p.m. Unconfirmed reports are that the gunmen wanted to free one of their crony. Reports are that the officers on duty were alerted by dogs on the premises. They were later confronted by the two gunmen who pointed guns at them. The lawmen in fear for their life said to have taken evasive action and fire at the intruders. The gunmen then later escaped in a waiting vehicle. They have charged one of the four men apprehended in connection with the May multi-million dollar robbery at the Pavilion Jewelry Store at Constant Spring Plaza in St. Andrew. Charge is 31-year-old Nico Gardner. He has been charged with robbery with aggravation, conspiracy to commit robbery and possession of a prohibited weapon. A date is to be set for him to appear in court. The police reported that on the morning of Wednesday, May 10, Gardner, along with three other men, all armed with guns, entered the store and held up persons. In total, they robbed them of 619,000 and assorted jewelry value at 4 million and 38,000. Black 9mm pistol, along with two magazines containing 34 rounds of 9mm cartridges and other personal items, according to the police. The police say the men then run from the premises and robbed two motorists of their vehicles using the cars to escape. Gordon was arrested on Monday, May 22 at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston while attempting to leave the island. The Barnet Street Police in Montego Bay, St. James are investigating the death of an elderly man who was shot multiple times and his body set on fire by a gunman on Sunday morning. The deceased has since been identified as Tony Allen of New Road in Cambridge in the parish. He is believed to be in his late 60s. It is reported about 3 a.m. men armed with M16 rifle drove to a section of railway lane in downtown Montego Bay and then walked into a yard along Dean's Lane where Allen was staying with family members. The gunman reportedly cornered the elderly man who was outside in the yard and opened fire hitting him several times before setting his body on fire. The blood that continued in Lindsay's St. Catherine after a man was shot and killed at his home on East Avenue in the community on Monday morning. The deceased has since been identified as, as William Augustus Mitchell, otherwise called Candyman. Reports are that around 10.20 a.m. Mitchell was at home with a friend when they were pounced upon by three armed men with handguns. The gunmen reportedly opened gunfire hitting Mitchell in the head, chest and hands, killing him on the spot. The friend reportedly ran and escaped injury. The gunmen then made their escape in a grey Lexus motor car. The police found 12 9mm spent casing while processing the scene. Over the past few weeks, there have been several cases of murder and shooting in Linstead, the most prominent of which was last week death of popular pharmacist Deslan White. Two vendors were also murdered at the Linstead market, a section of which was set ablaze recently. Deputy Commissioner of Correction, Reverend Avril Moore, whose body was found of the crash upon Spur Tree Hill, Main Road earlier this month died as a result of strangulation, a post-mortem reveal. Yes, in fact, the post-mortem was done today and it is reported that the cause of death was due to strangulation. Uh, it is not really surprising to us because as we reported um, previously that we did not suspect any foul play in his death. The fact is that we are still conducting our investigation. Our investigation is not closed. Uh, we have not seen any evidence that there was any third party uh, traveling with him. Or we can, uh, there's no reason to have any suspicion that there, is a, there was any third party at the location. But we are conducting, we are still doing our investigation 
we are very open and um, we are appealing to anyone from the public who has any information to call us and share those information. They can call 881, that is the NIB tip line. They can call 311, which is Crime Stop, or they can call 119.